Hey guys, even here, so in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates, especially of mass monsters, but we're gonna start with this one, with a photo of this guy, look who remembered to finally post something. Big Remy finally remembered that he's the Mr. Olympia, that he's the representation of all bodybuilding, the best bodybuilder in the world, and uh, he finally decided to give us one post. Amazing, amazing. It's not much, but I'll take it. It's better than nothing. So this is Big Remy right now, 18 weeks as he says out of the Mr. Olympia, weighing 336 pounds or 153 kilos, which is massive. And considering how big he is, how heavy he is, he's actually really, really lean. Recently there was a video of Big Remy posing in which he looked also very lean, it turned out actually to be an older video, if we are to trust the people in the comments, I haven't really looked to see if he posted exact same video a year or two ago, but he looked very lean in that video and I thought, why is he so lean in the off season? is it possible that he stays that lean? Well this photo is definitely recent, it is a physique update, he, he specifies that, and he does look very very lean. Now, Big Remy has so much muscle that in order for him to get fat, he needs to eat probably more food that can fit in his stomach. So, I don't think it's really possible for Big Remy to get fat. I think it's very easy for him to maintain this conditioning as long as he maintains this kind of muscle mass. So, he is humongous right now. Again, 153 kilos, 336 pounds with this conditioning. That is big. That is massive. And that's why we call him Big Remy. The only way Big Remy can actually lose the title at the Mr. Olympia this year is if he comes in off with conditioning, if he's not shredded, and I'm not saying peel to shreds like Hari Chopin comes, for example, or some of the other guys, no, Big Remy is okay if he comes in in decent conditioning. With all that muscle and against the competition that is right now up there, he's okay looking like this. As you can see, he's not super shredded, but his conditioning is, let's say, okay. It was much worse over the years before. He actually won the Mr. Olympia in 2020. In 2021, he was a little bit less conditioned, but it was still good enough. Again, with all that mass and just being so well-rounded, Big Remy doesn't really have some major flaws. For example, Brandon has no legs. Hadi has, well, he has some flaws, we all know what they are, let's not even talk about that right now. So Big Remy is kind of the most complete bodybuilder on that stage right now. If he was going against Phil Heath at his best, or Jay Cutler at his best, or Ronnie Coleman... Dorian Yates, I would say Daxter Jackson in 2008, and probably Sean Roden in 2018, he would lose against any of those guys, but currently, in this lineup of today, Big Remy is the best. Is he gonna be the best for long? Well, it looks like he's okay. It looks like he's still as big as he needs to be, he's still in good shape, there is 18 long weeks for him to get ready, and I think this year he needs to be really ready, not like last year. I think this year, if he messes it up, he's going to lose. He missed that guest posing at Pittsburgh Pro, that's probably gonna affect him at least a little bit, and there are some heavy hitters, some new guys coming up, so if he wants to keep his title, he needs to bring it, seriously, this year. If he doesn't show up at 100%, and I'm talking about big Rammies, 100%, which is probably 2020 Mr. Olympia, if he doesn't repeat that shape, he has a chance of losing, but honestly, at this point, it looks like he's going to be the champion again. So, I said Big Remy has some heavy hitters, some guys climbing up that ladder, and one of them is Samson Dauda. I think this is going to be a breakthrough year for Samson Dauda. It already kind of has been, you know, fourth place at the Arnold Classic is a huge step, but I feel like he's going to prove himself at the Mr. Olympia as being one of the top guys, as being one of the top tier bodybuilders, I think he's gonna crack the top 6, as you can see right now, Samson is 148 freaking kilos, this is insane, that's only 10 pounds lighter than freaking Big Remy, he says in this story, every week I think I'm at my limit and this body has stopped growing, it hasn't. 326, 326 pounds, Samson Dauda right now, 
looks like a proper freak. I mean, look at this guy, look at those legs, look at that wheat taper. He gained so much muscle and with his shape, I feel like it was always a matter of time when this was gonna happen. I remember seeing Samson a couple of years ago and I thought, well, this guy has everything to be one of the best in the world. Why is he not up there? Why is he not in the top spots at the Mr. Olympia? Well, he needed somebody to really push him to his limits and beyond. And that is his coach, Milos Sarchev. So with Milos, who is, you know, crazy with insulin and carbs, he probably gave, gave Samson so much food. And I worked with Milos for a couple of months. He really forced me. My life was a living hell. I remember eating so many carbs, so much food, so much protein. My days were just eating and training and doing everything to maximize my results. And I didn't like it. Honestly, it was too much for me. But if somebody is on that level, if somebody is like knocking at the door at being one of the top tier body builders they should hire somebody who is going to force them to be the best possible version of themselves and Samson is achieving that with Milos Sharchev as you can see he looks amazing right now and he is getting close to big Ramy size and I think the reason why Big Remy is the best bodybuilder right now is because of his size. Of course, that's not all. Again, he is well-rounded. He doesn't have a lot of weak points. What is weak is not really that weak. So that's why Big Remy is winning. But size is probably the biggest thing. And Samson, for example, is getting close. There are other guys who are getting close, such as Nick Walker. Nick Walker is getting bigger and stronger as we speak. I'm gonna show you his weight in a moment. As you can see, he's humongous right now. I mean, he's a shorter guy, but for his frame, he's incredibly, incredibly massive and also really strong. He's going to incline press these 200 pound dumbbells for 10 perfect reps. It is insane how strong this guy is and how massive he is getting. So, before his prep started, he was off of everything and he started prepping at around 22 weeks out and that is when he introduced gear, when he started blasting things and that's why he's getting sharper, leaner, harder and heavier and stronger. So he's going to kind of grow into the show. It's insane to, to, to imagine how, how he's gonna look on that stage, considering that he basically had no off-season last year. He turned pro, he did Chicago, he did New York, he did Arnold Classic, he did the Mr. Olympia. He progressed between all those shows without a freaking off-season. And now he had an off-season. And he timed everything properly. He was off before he started the prep, and now he's going to get shredded and massive at the same time. You can see that he is visibly leaner and harder, but he's actually heavier than ever. Take a look at this. Uh, right now, my weight is sitting at 302 pounds. So at 5 foot 6, Nick Walker is weighing 302 pounds. And you can be sure that he's talking about morning fasted weight. So he's definitely going to be one of the biggest guys on that stage and surely a contender for the title. Then we must not forget last year's 4th place finisher Hunter Labrada, who seems to have made a lot of progress as well. So this is his most recent update as far as weight and I'm gonna show you his physique in a second. So he's 290 right now and he says, heaviest I've been in my life with 2 meals to go, far from the fattest I've been though. He also says that I'd be the first to say weight doesn't mean much but I've been chasing this for the last 9 months so I had to share. He tags his new coach, Ben Chow. Yeah, Ben Chow is coaching Hunter Labrada right now. And uh, Hunter, he's 290. And, you know, before he started this offseason, he said that his goal is not exactly to get as big as possible, as heavy as possible. He was planning on maintaining his waist size as small, as tight as possible while making progress in certain areas. And he stayed very, very lean. You can see it right here in his most recent uh, video that he posted. This is basically four weeks out conditioning. I mean, come on, guys. He can get shredded in four weeks, pretty much. He is super, super lean. I guess Nick Walker is not really this lean. And I think that's the difference, basically, between these guys. Those 10 pounds of water and fat that Nick Walker has. So these guys are about the same size. And Hunter Labrada is a mass monster as well. His head is really massive though, unproportionate. And it looks, it makes him look smaller than he is when he's posing there individually. But when he stands next to the other guys, you can actually see how big this guy is. And he is one of the most massive guys on that stage right now. 
Since we are talking about mass, here is Anton Voyant with his new physique update. So as you can see, he lost some of that dryness that he had when he was competing, of course. He won't stay super shredded all year round until Mr. Olympia. He's going to get a little bit more, uh, I wouldn't even say fat, maybe a little bit more watery, but he looks so much bigger and so much fuller. I mean, he was trying to stay as healthy as possible. He was using less gear than ever. And maybe, maybe when he saw how good he actually is, you know, he kind of was pushing Ian Wallier, who is 7 in the world. Maybe when he saw that, he realized, well, maybe I can be 7 in the world. Maybe I can beat Ian Wallier if I push things like he's doing, if I do more gear. Yeah, he has those health issues, his heart is not exactly in perfect shape, but maybe he decided to really give it a go. Maybe up things a little bit. I don't know, I'm just assuming here, but he does look much bigger, he's probably having a great rebound right now, and this guy was joking around with, with fans, saying that he was like 235, and people were saying he should do the classic, but really, he was never below 270, 280, Anton Voyant, I mean, he maybe has a little bit flatter chest and arms and that part, shoulders, you know, but he's actually a really massive bodybuilder as well, he does get really heavy in the offseason, I don't know what he's weighing right here, he probably didn't want to say it because he knew people would uh, tell him, you know, that he shouldn't be doing this because of his health, but as you can see, he is getting bigger, and I think he's going to look much better than Mr. Olympia, what he can do, <laughs> I think he has a chance of cracking the top 10. It's going to be insane, ridiculously insane to crack that top 10 this year. This Mr. Olympia 2022 is going to be one of the most competitive Mr. Olympias in the history of Mr. Olympia, basically. So top 10 would be an insane achievement. What do you guys think? Do you have Anton in that top 10? It looks to me like he is growing, that he's going to be bigger and better than Mr. Olympia. I also have to mention Patrick Johnson, I have no idea who this guy is, where is he coming from, when he turned pro, what shows he did before, I don't know anything, if you guys know something more about his biography, tell me in the comment section down below, I, I saw a lot of people tagging me in his photos, and I'm honestly impressed, this guy is a mass monster for sure, he's taking these photos in Kuwait gym in that uh, anabolic doorway, where Brandon Curry is taking his photos basically, so he looks really good, his legs are really freaky, really massive, he is preparing for Arnold Classic UK, he's going to be facing some really good guys like James Hollingshead, like Andrew Jack, like uh, Mark Henry, so many others, uh, Arnold UK is going to be a really good show, but this guy looks to me like one of the top runners possibly at that show, because of all this mess, as you can see he looks really big, so if you guys know anything more about Patrick Johnson, tell me in the comment section down below. And Brad Wilkins offseason is going really well, as you can see, he also got really, really massive. Uh, again, after the Arnold Classic, he didn't really want to push anymore, he didn't want to do more shows and try to get that Mr. Olympic qualification somehow. He decided to go back to the offseason and make the needed improvements, and he did just that. I heard that he's going to be competing later this year, I don't know which show, maybe one of the post-Olympia shows, and he probably will get that Mr. Olympia qualification. He's definitely chasing that mass. How healthy this this is probably not very healthy, he grew so much muscle in a couple of years basically, it's probably the fastest growth that I ever saw of a bodybuilder, so I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he's growing rapidly. And next time you see him on stage, he's probably gonna be taking home some trophies. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, and for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best, and bye-bye.